Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Master Boxes, Yankee Scout, and Tracker. And this is in 135th scale. Uh, for those of you who don't know, earlier this year, my friend from Europe mailed me this model kit as a present, um, really just because of good friendship. And so now, um, for Christmas, which is about coming up very, very soon, I'm going to send this back to him as an assembled model kit. So this is my, my Christmas present back to my friend. So, um, and also, for those of you who don't know, uh, Master Box is from the Ukraine. So by, at least I feel like by building this, I'm supporting the Ukraine for their war. So this is gonna be a exciting kit for me to build because I'm building this for my friend as his Christmas present for this year and hopefully you get to enjoy it too. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the horse and the two figures. So this is the horse all completed and as you can well see there's a lot of filler that was needed to make this horse look like a horse. Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting, and this kit is fairly easy to build. The only real challenge that I would think the beginner would have would be filling in the gaps with putty. But other than that, this was an easy kit to build. It's time for me to paint the figures.
I want to talk to you about how I put the reins on. So the reins are really just ordinary um, sewing needle thread in which I actually use super glue. I glued the reins onto the bit first and let it dry. And then once it's dry, then I pulled the string to make a taunt and glue it onto the hand. I'm going to use this base and this clear plastic top for my diorama. I want to talk to you about securing the base. Since I'm actually mailing this over to uh, back to Europe, I need to um, really have a secure way to actually have these figures uh, secured onto the base. And the way to do that is for me to actually anchor it onto the onto the base by using this um, this piece of metal right here, and of course you can see it. So what I've done was I already made holes on the base of each figure, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pin vise right here and make a corresponding hole at the base. I want to talk to you about using alternative base. Normally I would like to use uh, this type of towel grout, which is actually pretty good. Um, but the only problem is that when this is going to be mailed, this entire diorama is going to be tossed and turned. And so this is going to break up very easily like that. So this can't be, this cannot be used. So what I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to use rubber cement here to give it a, um, it's not going to be very realistic, but at least it'll come over back to Europe, hopefully intact. I just installed these metal rods to pin the figure onto the base. The two figures are glued onto the base and now I'm going to secure them even further. As I was saying earlier, I put these two pins here to make it very secure. And so what I'm going to do now is to bend the pins. If I can do it with my fingers, I can't. Um, I'm going to do it with a pair of pliers, but I'm going to bend them so that way it'll be very, very secure. Okay, so I just used this pair of pliers to bend those two um, pins right there, these two wires right there, so everything is nice and secure. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted the figures, and we even made a small diorama out of it. So let me tell you, show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit. 
after painting, weathering, and making it into a small diorama. And I think I did a good job. Um, what's, what's more surprising to me is that the groundwork is better than I thought it would be. Um, I just thought that it wasn't going to look good, but we're just adding um, um, rubber cement and static grass. Did a good, did a good job. And the best part I like about this is that I think it's going to survive the um, the trip back to Europe here because I think when it gets tossed, tossed and turned around and thrown around about in the mail it's still going to survive so I hope my friend is going to enjoy this uh, gift for Christmas all right so this is it it's finished so I'm going to put this dome on top of the base to protect it on its way to Europe I'm going to use this um, old cracker box as my box to send over to Europe along with some uh, padding. The package is all wrapped up and it's ready to be shipped over to Europe. Okay, so the kit is all complete, it's packaged, and now it's time for me to actually send it over to Europe. So um, follow me into my car, and we're gonna go ahead and drive over to the post office to have it delivered, to have it send it delivered to Europe. All right, so we just drove over to my local post office, and so let's go ahead and send the package over to Europe. Alright, so I just got out of the post office. Now the package is on its way to Europe. So what you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. And uh, please enjoy it. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. Goodbye now.